What do you mean, stop? You think I'm that foolish? <sighs> you know exactly why I attacked you. Stop pretending. It's getting on my nerves. You were the one tracking me for over a day. You think I didn't sense you? I would know you if I was blind. You think I'd need my Sharingan for that? <sighs> you are my enemy. That was your choice, not mine. How was it my choice? <sighs> Fine. I'll stop. But only if you put down your sword as well. If you aren't my enemy, why have you been tracking me this whole time? What could we possibly have to talk about? Or have you forgotten what you said to me before I left the village? Ah, that's right. The last thing I remember you saying was don't ever come back. You said if I even stepped one single foot out of the village, you would see me as an enemy and hunt me down like a missing nin. You know I had to leave to atone for what I did. I had to make things better and prove to myself I was worthy enough to return to the village. You of all people know I didn't want to leave. Maybe it didn't make sense to you the first time I left, or even the second. But you know I had my reasons both times. If you don't care about my reasons, why are you here? To kill me? And claim the bounty on my head? Huh. You were around. And you felt my presence. So you followed? You are a horrible liar. Always have been. That's a low blow. I never lied about anything. I don't lie. I do want to rebuild my clan. That has and will always be a dream of mine. I will make that a reality, and believe it or not, this is the first step. <sighs> oh, that's rich, coming from you. When I left to join Orochimaru, you and Sakura both tried to stop me that night. She tried to tell me how much she cared and loved me, desperately begging me to stay. You, on the other hand, didn't act like you cared. Instead, you told me to leave and said you'd hate me forever. Ha! <laughs> Ironically, you were the one person who stood a chance in convincing me to stay. Just seeing you standing at the gates waiting for me, it made my heart jump. I knew if you simply asked me to stay, I wouldn't know how to say no to you. No, I wouldn't want to say no to you. I already said I'm not a liar. Don't make me repeat myself. You didn't ask me to stay. You didn't beg or cry. I know very well you're not Sakura. I didn't expect you to beg me. But I also didn't expect you to just hate me so quickly either. Ever since we were kids, you've always been there for me. Even before Itachi killed my entire clan and made me an orphan. 
I can't remember a time before when you weren't there to comfort me. Or make me smile. I'll admit, I took those days for granted. I guess I just thought, maybe you care or remember what I was like when my parents were still alive. Wait. That's why you were so hurt? You thought I abandoned you? <sighs> no. That is not why I left. I'm not so selfish that I wanted power only for my own gain or revenge. I'll admit, revenge against Satachi fueled me. But it wasn't the only reason. I left to become stronger to protect you. So that I never had to know what it was like to lose everything and everyone I ever loved for the second time. When Itachi tried to capture Naruto before I left the village, I was so weak, I couldn't lift a finger to stop him. What if you had been there, huh? What if something happened to you? I couldn't stop replaying those what-ifs in my head. Those worst-case scenarios consumed me. Itachi would have killed you if it meant making me strong. If it helped me find that courage needed to live as a Nuchiha, he wouldn't have hesitated, even for a moment. Knowing that, how could I just continue to be that weak? To live a life of comfort, knowing that one day it would have been ripped out from under me again, and you'd be the person who suffers. I cared about you. Which is exactly why I had to go and embrace whatever evil I had to if it meant keeping you safe. <sighs> I'm not saying you can't handle yourself. But against Itachi and the countless other enemies of my clan, you never stood a chance. Not then at least. I know, but please understand, when I attacked the village, I was hurt and confused. The village had destroyed my clan long before Itachi's massacre. That had nothing to do with you, but I am sorry you were affected. That was never my intention. I only ever wanted to protect you and keep you away from the curse that follows me. Do you understand that's exactly why I left the second time? Even though I didn't want to hurt you, my action caused so much pain and suffering for so many people. Although Naruto and some of our friends were willing to forgive me, I couldn't look them in the eyes every day knowing I owed a massive debt to the entire village. Leaving and fixing my mistakes is the only way I can redeem myself. Can't you see? I never left because I wanted to be away from you. The truth is far from it. I wanted to be strong and worthy enough to stand in front of you and apologize for everything I've put you through. You might not believe me, but I am sorry. This isn't how I wanted to confess my feelings. But our fight left me little choice. How do I feel about you? <laughs> After everything I just said and all this time, you still can't tell? <laughs> Dense as ever, just like Naruto. You are the only person who can hurt me with your indifference. When you told me I would always be your enemy, I have to admit, it hurt. 
and you just seemed to close off your heart to me ever since. I know it was my fault you stopped caring about me. I understand you didn't want to get hurt or abandoned again. I deserve all your hatred. I just don't know how to make it better. I... Uh... <laughs> Hugging me so suddenly. We were just pointing swords at each other. How did you know I wasn't going to think it was an attack? I had almost forgotten how good it feels for you to hold me. Your warmth. Now you always fit perfectly in my arms. I've missed this. I've missed you. You've hated me for so long now. I never thought we could get back to this place. Where we could share our feelings and talk about the past. Hmm? You don't hate me. It feels so good hearing you say that. I know I still have a lot more to atone for. But, if you're already away from the village, maybe you could stay with me for a little while longer. I don't know how long I'll be away, but there's no one I'd rather have by my side. Plus, it'll give me a chance to apologize to you properly and prove I can be the man you've always wanted me to be. I can show you I've changed. It seems it's my turn to beg someone to stay. Will you stay with me? Please? Thank you. <laughs>